a true Southern Belle gets her point across with poise and excellence. Good evening. I am Marie Antoinette Woolfolk Taylor. I was born 1893 and brought up right here in Atlanta. Now, being refined, it doesn't mean being quiet or docile because I use my voice and my actions to advocate for the people of my race, especially the women, asking of my sorrows of the Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. My parents were both professors at Atlanta University and instilled in me a love of education and a commitment to faith. I attended classes at the Star School, the first school for African Americans here in Atlanta. Now, my family aspired to be a part of the Talented Tent. You have heard of the Talented Tent. Well, Dr. W.E.B. Du Bois, a leader of our race, argued that blacks needed higher education to reach their full potential. He said the Negro race will be saved by its exceptional men. Well, now, I do agree with Dr. Du Bois, but shouldn't men and women lead the charge? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, to better my community and fulfill my potential, I entered Atlanta University. But pretty soon, there was an opportunity for me to study in the preparatory department of Howard University in Washington, D.C. they just begun accepting women, so I jumped at the chance. Nestled in minor hall. I met phenomenal friends like Ethel Hedgeman Lyle, the Buck sisters, and so many more. Here, my voice was needed more than ever because you see, we women were in a minority on campus and we needed to support one another, almost like sisters. Now, Ethel had the idea to form a society of women on campus to nurture career aspirations and to encourage us to use our voices. She recruited eight of us. But I was the one who went to the new president, Thurkfield, and encouraged him to make it a full sorority. In 1908, Alpha Kappa Alpha sorority was established. The first Greek letter organization founded by and for African-American women. I was the first secretary. I worked on the Constitution and the bylaws. Our colors were salmon pink and apple green. <laughs> the ivy was our symbol because it represented being able to endure through rocky terrain and still thrive and represent strong and lasting friendships. Now, when I graduated Howard the Magna Cum Laude, I attended Chauffeur Training Institute of Social Services in Columbus, Ohio. Now, at Howard, I was among my own race, but here I was the only African-American student. Needless to say, that was a change. I studied social work and religion and returned to Atlanta upon accepting a job at the First Congregational Church. Now mind you, as a, as a social worker, I didn't mind getting my hands dirty. I knew being an advocate was hard work, but I knew that my work was gonna help other people expanding on the legacy of my parents. I taught night classes to young women who didn't have my economic privilege, teaching them to read and sew and to be women of virtue. Oh, I love working with those girls. It reminded me of Ethel and the ladies of AKA and my community, women supporting women. My community continued to grow. I worked on Community Chest, which is now United Way, the NAACP, and served on the board of directors of the Cary Steel Pitts Foster Home, which still runs today. And when that terrible fire of 1917 swept through Sweet Auburn and the Old Fourth Ward, I was one of two blacks to help the Red Cross. Two years after the fire, I married my dear love, Alfred. He was a well-known physician, and we had our lovely daughter, Alfred Marie Taylor. I did so want to provide a better world for her and other young black girls. 1923, we established the graduate chapter, Alpha, Kappa Alpha, Kappa Omega, 
right here in Atlanta. I believe you just met Mr. Rucker. His wife, Alice, was a dear friend and a co-founder of the graduate chapter. Today, there are over 300,000 AKA members worldwide, women using their voice and actions to better their communities and be forces for change in this world. Women. I know you have to move on, but everybody remember, use your voice for truth and be of service to all mankind. But women, ladies, remember, empowered women empower women. Thank you for sharing my story. Thank you. Thank you. Now go forth and empower. <laughs>